Greetings class, Carity here. I'm going to talk to you about a wonderful little program called XNView MP. MP just means multi-platform. Um, it's offered now for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you use anything but Windows, make sure you get MP. If you use Windows, you can get by with the uh, XNView Classic. So this is an awesome program. First of all, for educational, personal, and nonprofit usage, it is free. Yes, free. I know. So uh, for a commercial license, it's only $30 license, more or less, you know, tax and conversion rates and whatnot. But as far as uh, photography programs go, you know, unless you need the real deep pixel level editing that professional photographers are looking for with like blur and dodge, um, as long as you don't need to do that, if you just need to boost a contrast for a whole series of photos, or if you uh, need to convert things to a more accessible file format, uh, this is really the program that you want to use because you're the only other programs that can do this are generally part of the Adobe Creative Commons or Creative Suite, and that's a pretty pricey. Step one, download and install the program. Y'all are all big kids, you got this part. Step two, access the collection that you want to work with. Now, you can either have organized things um, in Windows at File Explorer, or maybe you know somebody gives you a thumb drive with a million digital photos, and hey, guess what? Now your job is to organize them. Congratulations, you're an intern. Haha. <laughs> So, when you first open XN View, this is more or less the default view. Um, I've had to shrink it down a little bit to capture it, but anyways, we have a standard Windows File Explorer system here. Uh, XN View automatically defaults to whatever directory you were using last. So that can be kind of nice sometimes, but if you go and do other projects, it can also be a little frustrating. Um, this info pane in the lower left corner um, is really, really helpful. You can see all of this is um, metadata that I've attached or embedded into the image. Um, and the tutorial basically is going to show how I was able to do this. Um, so I have previously done some work categorizing these photos um, that I scanned last year. Um, this folder is photos of my dog, Scobie, and I want to basically put in some of that information and attach it to these photo to these files, rather. Um, and this program is great at that because it really makes batch editing and organizing and batch moving, it, it makes it just really simple. So we've got one photo selected here, or I can also control A and that selects this entire directory here. Um, and this little pencil and a tag, because you're editing the tag, ha ha ha, get it? Um, this is the icon you want to look for. Um, you can also control I, or you can right click the icons, but not the preview. The preview won't do it, and it's right here. Edit, all of this good stuff. And you can also get to it here under Tools. Um, and what I'm going to do is basically, since I've already typed in a lot of this information before, I can just pull these up and say that I scanned these from the original documents. Um, basically, I'm responsible for these files. Um, this source would be. Um, like these fi the files are held at my dad's house, uh, the original documents, and so this is where I would scan from originals using FlipPal, right there. Um, and what I want to do is write all to files. Am I sure I want to basically give them all the same information? Yes. I always ask because sometimes you may not. Um, but it doesn't, the dialog box doesn't close on its own. You have to close out of that. But now, if you look, I've got extra tabs here that say, hey, this is where this information is. Um, and this is all embedded in the files. 
Um, essential links, if you are curious about finding out what else this program is capable of, uh, start with the beginner's guide. If you are more interested in the metadata aspects, Carl Siebert is great. Um, he kind of reviews all of the pho photography platforms and talks about a lot of details on his blog. And the uh, XNSoft wiki is kind of a more advanced user's guide if you uh, run out of things to do, which I highly doubt it. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you have any questions that Carl Siebert hasn't answered, uh, you can ask me and I can certainly give it a shot. Thanks.